as a kayak fisherman on the river, we tend to fish behind a lot of hydro generation. You know, it's just an excellent place to fish, a lot of fun, you know, it's a good place to be. Unfortunately, there are inherent dangers with those type places. So you have to constantly watch out for the dam releases. Now in our area, usually they'll blow a whistle, then the water comes. Ethan and I were fishing on one spot that was a lot lower than I've ever seen it before. I mean, there was water, there was rocks out of the water. You know, it was just one of them, it was a crazy way to, that the lake looked that day. We were having a good day, so we, we didn't pay no mind to it. When that dam blew the whistle, usually we tuck up into a little slough that's around the corner just, just to get out of the way, it's, it's kind of safe. But when that dam blew, I was almost to the slough. Ethan was kind of still right there at the edge of where the water was going to come. And usually there's a whistle, a duration, and then the dam comes. Well, that day, the guy that was blowing the whistle was Johnny on the spot with the water because it came. So Ethan wasn't quite out of the danger zone. Well, the problem was with that water being so low, it created a whirlpool unlike anything I've ever seen before other than on TV. I mean, this thing was probably 40 feet across, just, just sucking in the middle, and it was, it was spooky. It had been spooky in a big boat, but it was really spooky in a kayak. Well, I, I went back to check on Ethan, and he's back paddling, back paddling, and, and it's right there in front of him. And from my, my perspective, I could see that he was actually getting closer and closer and closer, though he was back paddling for all he was worth. The Cuda 14 is a wonderful boat, but it's designed to go that way. It's not designed to back up. So I yelled at him, turn your boat around. He looked at me like I fell out of mine, you know, and I'm like, turn your boat around. Well, he listened and he turned that boat around and, and as he did that slow turn, you know, the, the tail end just barely clipped the edge of that whirlpool and then I could see the distance start to create where he was making it. Was well, he made it over and got, you know, closer to me, we were in that safe zone. So we just sat there and breathed a little bit. It's like, man, that was, that was, that was too close, you know. Guys, there's a, there's a verse in the Bible and I, I'm going to pull it up just to make sure that I, I don't mess this up. It's John 10.10. 10. You see it's written in red. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came so that they have life and have it abundantly. Steal, kill, and destroy. That's what that whirlpool wanted to do to Ethan. That's what the devil does to us. Guys, that whirlpool in life is everything. I mean, it's $5 a gallon gas. It's problems in your church, problems in your family, it's problems at work. And it's just sucking the life out of us. The issues that we have and we fight with daily are just things that, that just, just pull on us. And that's what the devil's doing. He's just trying to keep our attention off of our safe harbor, off of our, our true king. And, and every little thing that's just creating issues, that's his job. You know, he's the author of confusion. He's the author of lies, and that's what he does. I want you to turn your boat around. You know, we're designed to go towards Jesus. We're designed to keep our eyes on him. If I had one thing in my 50 years of traveling through this life that I wish I had done different, it would be to focus more on him and less on the junk going on around me less on that whirlpool of life that's just sucking 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 wanting to steal kill and destroy steal your joy steal your effectiveness steal steal your love if you're in struggles right now turn your boat around look to the anchor the one true king and i hope this helps y'all take it easy